Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. How are you feeling this morning? Thumbs up, somewhere in the middle, thumbs down. I am feeling thumbs up. I am so happy to have you here with me today. Today we are going to read this story. Do you recognize it by just looking at the cover? Hmm. What animal do you think that this story is about? Is it about a penguin? Is it about an elephant? What animal is this? Clutching the branch. Up here, if we look at our title, it says Stella Luna. Stella Luna is the title, and our author is Janelle Cannon. Well, let's open it up and see what the story is all about. Here's our title page, Stella Luna. And our dedication page, this is where the author sometimes dedicates their story to somebody. It says to Burton Cannon and Nancy Cannon with love. In a warm and sultry forest far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, Mother Bat would carry Stella Luna clutched in her breasts as she flew out to search for food. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of a ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape but the owl struck again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and as useless as wet paper. Down, down she went, faster and faster, into the forest below. The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet, Wrapping her wings around her, she clutched the thin branch, trembling with cold and fear. Mother, Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the baby bat couldn't hold on no longer, and down, down again she dropped. Flump! Stella Luna landed headfirst into a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clamped from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by my feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mama, hissed Pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for the crawly things Mama Bird brought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer, and she climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. She ate bugs, even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing, except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once, when Mama was away, the curious birds decided to try it too. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of her nest. Eek! she cried. Get back up here in this instant you're going to fall and break your necks the birds clambered back into the nest but mama bird stopped stella luna you are teaching my children to do bad things i will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house stella luna promised she ate bugs without making faces, she slept in the nest at night, and she didn't hang by her feet. 
Stella Luna behaved as a good bird should. All the babies grew quickly. Soon the nest became crowded. Mama Bird told them it was time to learn to fly. One by one, Pip, Flitter, and Flap, and Stella Luna jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. Does her wings look the same as their wings? Hmm. Pip, Flitter, and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Stella Luna tried to do the same. How embarrassing. I will fly all day, Stella Luna told herself. Then no one will call me clump. See how clumsy I am. The next day, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna went flying far from home. They flew for hours, exercising their new wings. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We had better go home or we will get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna had flown far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promise not to hang by my feet, Stella Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon fell asleep. She didn't hear the soft wings of wings coming near. Hey, a loud voice said, why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down. You are, Stella Luna said. Ah, but you're a bat. Bats hang by their feet. You are hanging by your thumbs, so that makes you upside down, the creature says. I'm a bat. I am hanging by my feet. That makes me right side up. Stella Luna was confused. Mama Bird told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Wrong for a bird, maybe, but not for a bat. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaved like a bird. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate b bugs stuttered one. You slept at night, gasped another. How very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait, let me look at this child, a bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you, she said. <laughs> Sniffing Stella Luna's fur, she whispered, You are Stella Luna. You are my baby. You escaped the owl, cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat, as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. Come with me, and I will show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. But it's nighttime, Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or we will crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in the darkness. Come with us. Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon the bats found a mango tree, and Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. I'll never eat another bug as long as I can live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. I must tell Pip, Flitter, and Flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my bat family, she said, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. 
they hung by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world stella luna exclaimed to the birds as on the way as the birds flew among the bats flap said i feel upside down here so the birds hung by their feet wait until dark stella luna said excitedly we will fly at night when night came stella luna flew away pip flitter and flap leapt from the from the tree to follow her i can't see a thing yelled pip neither can i howled flitter hey shrieked flap they're going to crash gasped stella luna i must rescue them stella luna swooped about grabbing her friends in the air she lifted them to a tree and the birds grasped a branch stella luna hung from the limb above them We are safe, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. I wish you could see in the dark, too. We wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. How can we be so different and feel so much alike, mused Flitter. And how can we feel so different and be so much alike, wondered Pip. I think this is quite a mystery, Flap chirped. I agree, said Stella Luna. But we're friends, and that's a fact. The end. At the end of this book, there's a, a number of bat facts. What do you think of Stella Luna? What animal was Stella Luna? She was a bat. And what family's nest did she land in? They were birds. What things about birds and bats are the same? And what things about birds and bats are different? Are birds awake in the daytime or the nighttime? Birds are awake during the daytime. And bats fly at night. That's why they have those special eyes so they can see in the dark. They are nocturnal. But in the end, were the bats and the birds able to still find some common things to help them be friends? Yeah. Well, today is Thursday, so it is last story time of the week. We will not have um, Lunch Bunch tomorrow because it is a holiday weekend. But I will see you on Monday, and I can't wait. See you then. Bye.